This video is for Scorpio, and I'll pull you guys the Oracle card, then we'll get into the tarot. What do you want Scorpio to know? Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you'd like a personal reading, it's in the description. They're only $17. And I upload a 25 to 30 minute video. Why? Number 31. So I'm going to read the relationship message and see what it says. It's really pretty though. A person's like holding a book with a question mark and wings. <laughs> so maybe you're questioning why. Like maybe you're like, why did I meet this person? Number 31. Let's see. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do. Mostly because our feelings are not always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this and why did I say that? And spend some time in introspection, the answers may be surprising. Listen to the messages from your intuition, from the deep knowing within. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are buried treasures of why. Uncover them by poising the most important question. You can ask yourself and your partner today, why? So that's what I have. And then it says essential meanings, motives, driving, intention, the power of knowing the why. You know, and that's funny because I think a lot of times when we meet certain people, the first thing you ask yourself is why did this person come into your life? Especially if you're a spiritual person, you always want to know why. Like, what is their purpose for being there? But I feel like for you guys, this, especially Scorpios, you guys are so suspicious of everybody. And trust me, I know because I have a Scorpio in my chart. You guys are always like, well, why is this person here? What do they want? Like, you're very suspicious of people. And I would be too. Um, so I think it's just spirit coming through telling you they're here to love you. Like, that's their purpose. So, um, yeah. And look at the bottom. We have Unfinished Symphony. So I feel like you could probably know this person from a past life. Okay, what do you want Scorpio to know about their person? How are they feeling? What current energy are they in? And what actions will they take? And I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Because I didn't, I shuffle a bunch before I turn the camera on. Okay, so at the bottom, like, okay, you could be going through heartbreak, Scorpio. Or this person is. And maybe that's what you're asking yourself the question for. Like, why? Like, why did this happen? Why did this person hurt me? Like, why did I deserve this heartbreak, you know? Yeah, somebody walked away from you, it looks like. So, some of you guys are heartbroken because somebody walked away from you. And that's what you're questioning. Like, why did this happen? Why did they do this to me? Um... You could have had, like, a family with this person. You planned on, like, living with this person for the rest of your life. Um, yeah, you could have had kids with this person, too, because this is, like, kid energy. But this also is, like, um, somebody could be messaging you here pretty soon, trying to contact you. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, I feel like this person's in this very cold energy. And I feel like you guys had kids together here and you planned on spending like the rest of your life, but they walked away. This person's not in the best energy. They're kind of in a cutthroat energy. Um, they kind of have a chip on their shoulder too, whoever this person is. They're like very head over heart right now. Yeah, they're very indecisive. They're not trying to make a decision. They're like blindfolded too, like they're they're just being very cold right now. Whoever this person is, they're being very cold. They're not even trying to make a decision. Like you might have asked this person, like, what is your intentions on? You know, like you're trying to figure out, well, why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? Why are they not contacting me? Uh and it's because they're kind of being an asshole. Like they're I hate this cuss, but it's like they're they're leaving you in this limbo 
uh, like land of indecision crap where you don't even know what they're thinking, but what they're thinking is they're not even trying to decide. Yeah, you've planted, a, you've had a past with this person. You've planted a lot of seeds with this person. So you've definitely was with this person over seven years, most likely. Um, seven months, seven years. Like you were with this person for a while. You planted seeds together. Um, they're holding back. So this does show that they have some type of emotion. Um, it's very hard for them to stay strong and to hold back from you. This is Leo energy. Um, so this person is holding back from you. Um, and I feel like they're also holding back from making a decision too. Um, we have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. They do have a lot of passion for you though still. They're very passionate about you still. Even though they're acting like they're not, they are. Um, this person could be a player. That might be why they're indecisive because right now they're in this, uh, I'm just going to go out and gallivant and do what the hell I want energy. You know, like they go in and out of people's lives. So they're kind of like not trying to make a decision because they still want to be like out doing what they want to do. Um, I have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this person is going to try, is going to try to return to you, whoever they are. They will make a return back to you. The question is when. <laughs> you have a soul contract with this person, but they are going to make their way back to you. Yeah, they're going to hold on to you. So if this person was by make, not making any decisions, um, they're going to finally end up deciding to move back towards you. They're going to hold on to you. They're not going to let you go. Uh, I feel like they are being quiet right now, though. Like they're in this quiet mode, not really doing a lot of talking. They do view you as somebody who is grounded, stable, committed, nourishing. Um, somebody who could be like the mother or father to their children. But your finances are going to be good. So don't worry about this person as much. Because regardless if they come back or not, your finances are going to be good. And if you've been thinking about starting a business, this is like your sign time. It's now's the time. Because the Queen of Pentacles creates her own business, her own empire. Yeah, you were probably married to this person. Um, they are going to decide to come back and hold on to you and stick with the marriage or ask you to marry them. Because if, see, the problem with this person is even if they was to think about leaving you, they're not because they've done planted too many seeds with you. So it's kind of like they have this like little fairy tale in their head that they want to be this Knight of Wand characters and go out and still talk to other people or whatever. But at the end of the day, they know they've done planting too many seeds with you. They know you're the one who's stable, committed. Um, they're not going to let go of you. Yeah, they're going to end up speaking their truth to you. Like, they're going to come back and tell you that they do want to continue the marriage or end up getting married. And they want to move to calmer waters with you. So, if you guys have been at odds, they are going to return, smooth things out with you. Yeah, and the reason they're going to do it is because God, God is going to get on to this person and tell them like, hey, wake up, time to wake up, go back to your marriage, like stick with the person I gave you. So you guys are going to have a reconciliation. Then we have the Knight of Cups. They're going to come back. They're going to offer their love to you. Okay, I had to pause it because... This card fell on the floor and I had to get it. Okay. So they are going to have this wake up call. They're going to come back towards you, Scorpio. Because um, they're very passionate about you. Okay. So this person is not going anywhere. They could act like they are. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But this person is very, very passionate about you. So they're going to come back to you. Okay. So let me pull you guys some things they could be thinking and like I said, if you want a reading, it's in the description. They're only 17. These are some things they could be wanting to say to you, that, but they're not. Okay. Love you and protecting you always spiritually. Okay, so this is somebody who's lost like a sister, a sister-in-law, a best friend, Somebody who was just a very kindred spirit to you. Somebody that you guys were really close with. 
They're just coming through. They want you to know that they love you and that they're watching over you. They also want you to know, um, I, I felt this person's energy. I just, I didn't say anything, but because I wanted to see if it would come out. But this person's been watching you go through this heartbreak. Um, they they want you to know that they've been through you the whole, with this the whole time. Like, they've never left your side. They see what you're going through. I keep sending you songs throughout the day on how I feel about you. So if you've been getting like random songs you keep hearing that you don't normally listen to or you wake up with a song in your head, that's this person who was the reading was about. They've been sending those to you. I can feel your energy all the time, baby. Love, bae. So somebody, is, you've been feeling their energy and they're feeling you. I love to stalk your social media and look at your pictures daily. A horse in Chinese Zodiac loves you. Search their birth year. So go search the year of the horse in Chinese astrology and see if it lines up with your person or somebody that you know. I'm watching over you. Love, mom. See, I've been feeling through this whole reading a really, really strong feminine energy. So some of you guys lost like a sister or a best friend. And then some of you lost like a mom or a grandma. Um, they're, they're here. And they the reason, let me tell you something. A lot of people don't understand this, but a lot of people that are watching do. Your ancestors watch over you from the other side. They're the ones who help orchestrate things for you. They will move you out of a bad relationship into a good relationship. They actually help you from the other side. I just feel like there's this feminine energy who's watching over the person that was meant to see this. Um, you've been crying a lot and you were very heartbroken over this person leaving you. Because like I said in the beginning of the reading, you planned on spending like the rest of your life with this person. So when they left you, it hurt you deeply. Um, there's a feminine energy that was literally watching you cry many nights in your bed, praying and crying out to God. There was some of you I just heard, um, who even were thinking about ending your life. And it was this feminine energy that would come through and comfort you and, and just put you to sleep. Like they would put their hand on you and try to comfort you and to, they would put you to sleep literally. So you would stop thinking those bad thoughts, but this person was watching you. Okay. I want to travel to see you soon. So if you're dealing with somebody at a distance, they want to come to where you're at. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I've seen that throughout the reading. Like you guys were married and split or you guys were never married. They want to come back. They're going to end up marrying you. Like they've realized that you're the one. I wish I could turn back the hands of time and never part. So even though this person split up with you, like they wish they could turn back the hands of time and make it to where you guys never even split up. Worst mistake I made was hurting you, baby. So this person regrets what they did to you. You both can hear each other's thoughts and energy. Um, I've been feeling this in this reading too. For some of you, if you've been feeling kind of sad and depressed like the last week, um, that's really not your energy. It's your person's energy. Um, and the reason you're feeling that is because they're in such deep regret and hurt that they're about to come back to you and tell you everything that they've been thinking, everything that they regret. Um, you're, you're feeling this person's energy really, really strong. I loved you since the beginning of time. We are from the same star. Love your twin flame. So this person is your twin flame. Um, let me pull you some signs you could be dealing with an angel number. Okay, we have Gemini, Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Libra, Aries. Pisces, Aquarius, and then down here on the end, we have Cancer. So those are some of the signs that um, you could be dealing with. And then here's you an angel number. Three, seven, three. Holy crap. Okay. 
Okay, I see you, spirit. One, 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 one. That's a twin flame confirmation. This person is your twin flame. You guys couldn't escape each other if you tried to. <laughs> um, so Google 1111, angel number, and then Google 373. And you'll have a message there too. Thank you guys so much. If you could please leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji, it helps like the videos circulate. Um, that way I can keep doing these readings for you guys, okay? So thank you so much.